G'day, this is Marty, VK4 Kilo Charlie. Today I'm going to do a video tutorial on a tool that I think you'll find very helpful. Now when you go out activating for POTA and uh, you want to know where the boundaries are for a park, uh, this uh, tutorial will help you uh, be able to find and obtain that information for yourself. Now, it won't be all the Poda Parks because this doesn't contain a lot of uh, forests, particularly state forests, but all the protected areas, which would probably be at least 95% of the parks in Pota, uh, this will be very, very useful for. So the first thing to do is bring up your internet search engine. Uh, here I've just got a Google screen up and I'm in the uh, search field, I'm going to paste that in it's Collaborative Australian Protected Areas Database. Enter that. The first one that comes up is that, which is shortened to CAPAD. We'll click on that. And then we download data. OK, so this is what we want. It's the uh, shape file. Oh, now this is new. This is brand new. This is the 2022 uh, terrestrial cap pad data. So uh, the one that was here just just a few days ago was the 2020. So this is this is new as of probably today, actually. So there's the 2020, and this is the 2022. So. Um, looks like the file size is fairly similar, maybe even a little bit smaller for the current one. They might have cleaned it up a bit. So let's uh, select the uh, 2022 CAPAD. It's going to download a zip file. Okay, that's downloaded. So we'll now open that up. And what I'm going to do is copy all of those files out of the zip file. And I've created a folder in my downloads. I've called it CAPAD data. And I'm just going to paste it into there. The next thing we need to do is I'm just going to come back here, minimize that. The next thing we need to do is to open Google Earth Pro. Because this file is quite large, it is best to zoom in on an area that we want to uh, download our parks for. So let's go to around to Raugen here. Zoom in on that area. We're going to go File, Import. And we're going to change that generic text to ESRI shape. There's our shape file. And that's looking at that uh, folder where we unzipped our data files to. So we'll double click on that. And here's our data import uh, little message that comes up. This file contains more than 2,500 features and could cause application performance degradation. Our options here are import sample, restrict to view, or import all. We'll click restrict to view. This is our view. Okay, 405 features were imported. Do you want to apply a style template? Yes, we sure do. We'll create a new one, click OK. And here we go. We're going to select uh, set name field. We're going to drop down and click on name. With color, use single color and this little button here. Let's select this bluey color. OK. OK. Now we want to give this a name. I'm going to still call it CatPad2020 underscore, and we'll call it uh, Vic South East. Okay, while that's doing that, 
Back over onto the left hand side here, under temporary places we now have CAPAD 22. Let's click on that little black arrow to expand it fully and now we have CAPAD 22 underscore terrestrial. I'm going to right click and rename this and where the terrestrial is I'm going to call that uh, Vic South East. When I click on this little window here, this little square tick box, there you go, there's our parks. So if I zoom in on one of these parks, you can see the outline and it's all filled in and you can't see the uh, geography behind it. So to change that, we can go back over to the left hand side here on our Vic Southeast, right click, go to properties, click color, oh, sorry, style and color, click on share style. Here's our lines. Let's select a color, same color. We'll keep it at 100% opacity. The area, click color, same color. Now let's make this about 30% opacity. Click OK. And there you go. We can now see within the park area, the geography, roads. Yeah, it's very helpful. And if I click on that park with the left mouse button or double click, it tells me the name of the park and the type of park that it is. Okay, so if we zoom out, you can see all these parks here. We can zoom in, again, click on it. It gives us the name and the type of park. So very handy to be able to find your park boundaries. Uh, you can um, zoom into where roads are around the parks and see if a road goes through a park or if the boundary um, of, of the park might uh, just touch a road there and you might be able to activate on the side of the road as it is there. So this is very, very helpful. So what we're going to do here now, this is in temporary places, I'm going to right click here and go save to my places. So that's moved it up now into my places. Let's zoom out and go to Tasmania down near Hobart. Okay. Oh, Wellington Park. Okay. Let's go down this way a bit. Okay. Let's go through that procedure again. File. Import. Our CAPAD file. Uh, yes, we want to reload it. Okay, we want to restrict to view. 38 features were imported. Do you want to apply a style template? Yes. Okay. All right, well, our field is name. Our color. We'll click a little button here and we could change our color. We could make it a pink. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to change this now. Let's call this um, South Hobart. Okay. All right, we'll expand this and we'll also rename this. Instead of terrestrial, we'll call it uh, South Hobart. Okay, let's turn it on. There we go, there's the parks in that area. Now again, we want to try and make um, these, uh, uh, the opacity see-through, so we right click, properties, style and color, share style, lines, let's make that the pink, infill, pink, but we're gonna make it 30% much better. Now when we go and have a look at those, we click on that, Browns River Conservation Covenant, Browns River Fern Tree, Fern Tree number two Conservation Covenant. Okay, so they're uh, in there and what we can do here, right click, 
save to my places and we now have those two areas or regions in my places and you can turn those on or off as need be the more you have there and the more that they uh, the more that got ticked it's going to take a bit of um, more load on your processor but if you've got a fast computer uh, there's no reason why you have to search or zoom in so close you could probably do you know maybe even all of Tasmania and uh, bring that in uh, from your park list um, and just just uh, experiment you might find that if it's too slow with the computer that you've got you might have to zoom in and import a smaller section so I hope you found that helpful Certainly for the activators who, who go out and want to know where the boundaries are for parks, this is a great way to do it. Thanks for your time.